Hey everyone, Mrs. Kotlenberg here with another drawing tutorial. But first, I've got to tell you a secret. This one had me stumped for a few days. I tried out a few different things. I was working in my sketchbook, trying all kinds of different ideas to make this one happen, and it took me a while. So in case you were ever thinking, that Mrs. Kotlenberg has mad skills and she never makes mistakes? You're wrong. I do lots of practice work with my pencils before I start recording with my Sharpie. So that's why every time we are about to get started, I tell you to go grab a pencil because it's okay to make mistakes when we're doing our drawing. And if you need to stop the video, slow down, maybe erase something and try it again, that's perfectly fine. All right, go grab your papers and pencils because we are going to draw a bison together. Here we go. For today, we're going to start with an eye. Um, so we're going to draw a medium sized circle, fairly small, about the width of my finger. So maybe a little wider um, than yours. And then inside that circle, we're going to draw two fairly small circles on opposite sides of the circle from each other. Then we're going to draw a curved line from one of those small circles to the other on each side of the circle. So what we're doing here is we're kind of creating the pupil of our bison. So then we can color that inside part black. And then when you're coloring later, you can color the outside color, whatever color you want his eye to be. Then we're going to come in and we're going to draw just a small line as though it was a di diagonal line going through the eye. Now we're going to start up above the eye and we're going to go um, out and then down. And then we're going to start to come in and we're going to create the cheek. And I'm just going to lift it up just a little right at the end of where I stopped. I'm going to go back up to the top and I'm going to come to the right and drop down almost as though I'm making a rounded square, but then I'm going to kind of zip out to the right a little. Kind of suddenly come away and I'm going to come back down to my bottom and I'm going to come up and I'm going to, I'm going to almost create like a square here with rounded edges. And this is going to be the um, muzzle of our bison. I'm just going to go in here and clean up that line, make it nice and smooth. Now I'm going to draw a teardrop shape and I'm going to color mine in black. And I'm going to add just a little bit of like a little bump on the outside. And those are going to be his nostrils. Now starting at the top of the head, I'm just going to draw a little bit of a squiggly line up. And then I'm going to come back to that later, but we're going to draw an ear. So I like to draw a big rounded ear and then I want to go inside that and repeat that curve all the way around. And then we're going to draw just one little line inside to kind of give it some depth. Next up, we're going to draw one of the bison horns. So I start at the top of the ear and I curve in toward the head and then come back down. And then I add like a little mark so that the tip will be a little bit white and there'll be some difference. Then I join up that jagged line and then we're going to put the other one in and it's just sticking out of the top of his hair. Next we're going to finish up that head by continuing that jagged line, bringing it out to the back of his head, down and around and across and we want it to come up right in the middle of that n nose area. And then I add kind of a bottom lip. Now we're going to continue drawing these squiggly lines straight out the back, down the side, and then we're going to come up about halfway between where the eye and the nose meet, and we'll go straight down from there. So what we're doing is we're making almost um, squiggly rounded corner boxes. Now on the bottom, right on the edge, I'm going to draw a little U shape, and then beside that a slightly bigger U shape using our same sort of squiggly lines. Then I'm going to draw small squares, almost little trapezoid shapes. And then we're going to draw the hooves. So the hooves are a triangle and a little 
little extra bump on the other side because bison have um, hooves with two toes, kind of. All right, now we're gonna come in and do another rectangle for the other leg. It's gonna be a little bit bigger because it's closer to us in the picture. And the other hoof. Now what I'm doing here is I'm imagining a diagonal line from the top of the head and it goes down. I'm gonna keep going with that diagonal line because bison seem to get um, uh, their backs go lower. And then right at the end, the tail end, we're gonna do a, a pretty good U curve and then we'll draw a bit of a zigzag. And then we can come across at the bottom of the leg and we can start going back up. And then this part, they have a very big knee and it kind of gets rounded up. Now we're gonna join uh, that furry front bit with his back leg and this is like his stomach. Now we're gonna come in and we're gonna put in the hind um, hoof here or foot triangle with an extra little um, triangle behind it. And then for the back leg, we're just going to draw right next to the other leg, following that same shape. And we're going to add the back hoof. Now I did this fairly fast, but I had lots of practice. So if you need to pause the video, slow it down, take your time, that is totally fine. All right, last we're gonna come in with a little tail. And I like to kind of give it a bit of a tuft of fur on the end. All right, so you got a chance now to see me doing some coloring and I did this one today in pencil crayon and I did show it to you in fast forward because it took me a pretty long time. So I just wanted to point out a couple things that I did in case you missed it. So here's my bison and I wanted to uh, point out my technique that I did in this area here where our bison has a big, woolly, thick fur. And what I did was with my pencil crayon, I made tiny, tiny circles. And I colored in little circles that whole time. And that's how it kind of gets that fluffy look. All right, and something else you may have noticed is in this area over here, it looked like I colored it, and then I colored it again, and then I colored it again. So what I was doing was I started with one color and then I added layers of other colors on top to make it look exactly how I wanted it to. All right, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to send me your pictures. 
I love seeing your work. Until next time, see you later.